Hi, Pisces. <laughs> it's Roxy. Pisces, I'm here to do a love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now, Pisces, as you know, not every reading can resonate with every Pisces out there. So just take what makes sense and leave the rest, okay? I hope you guys are doing well out there um, during this pandemic that we have to be dealing with. Pisces, during the pre-shuffle, three cards fell out. I took them, okay? If you want a personal reading, all my information is found down in the description box below. Pisces, I'm using Nicoletta Ciccoli tarot cards. I love this deck. It's so exquisite and so soft and delicate. She makes the most beautiful cards. Next, next to Chiro Marchetti. <laughs> I love his cards, but they're so expensive. <laughs> but they're beautiful because they're all handmade and um, hand-painted cards. Exquisite cards. Let's see. One more card for Pisces. Well, Pisces, a lot of people want to come back to us. <laughs> I'm a Pisces, too. And I don't think we want to have anything to do with anybody from the past. They're too toxic. Hey, but you never know, right? So you're, oh, we all have free will. You can do what you want. <laughs> okay. Justice. This is the first card that fell out during the pre-shuffle. Justice. Major Arcana. Sign of Libra. Now, you could be dealing with a Libra. doesn't have to be. Pisces, I think you want to get justice from a certain situation, a certain person you're dealing with. Could be for the past, could be present. You feel like you've been wronged in the situation. Somebody hurt you, and you want you want fairness to be granted here. Yeah, this is the second card that fell out. Six of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Like I was just saying, somebody from your past, you feel like you were wronged. They could be coming back also. Yikes. <laughs> I don't want anybody toxic from my past. No, thank you. Um, I don't think you want them either. That doesn't mean they're not coming, though. This is the third card that fell out. It's the sun. Major Arcana, sign of Leo. You could have Leo in your chart, or you could have been dealing with a Leo. This person, you were so happy with them. They gave you abundance, joy, fun times. They gave you everything. You thought there were you everything to you, you know? Yeah, but you had to make a decision about them. Two of Swords, Aquarius, the Big Gemini. You could have been dealing with the air sign. It doesn't have to be. But this is a stalemate. This is, you had to make a decision or the universe was going to make it for you. Period and point blank. This is a decision you didn't want to make, to be honest. But you ended up making it anyway. Yeah, Temperance. Pisces, this is a major arcana. This is a sign of Sagittarius. You're trying to even yourself out. You're trying to balance yourself, get yourself back into equilibrium after this whole experience of whoever this was here. They like knock you off balance basically. Yeah, three of pence that could have put you in a third party situation. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, right? Maybe they met this person at work or maybe they were just uh, had a side chick on the side or side dude, but this is definitely three people. And you know, Pisces doesn't play that nonsense. We're nobody's option. We're not. And because you, like, bounce from this person, the wheel is going to turn in your favor. This is the Wheel of Fortune. Major Arcana, when it's upright, that means a good fortune, a good karma is coming back to you. If it was like this, see, it's already dropping. If it was like that, then you'd be at the bottom of the wheel and the car, bad karma would come coming back to you. But I think this is good karma coming. Huh, how interesting. Definitely somebody new coming towards you. Hierophant for a relationship or a marriage. This is a sign of Taurus. So Pisces, you could have a Taurus coming towards you. It doesn't have to be a Taurus, but it's a person who has your same morals, same class, same manners. They think the same way you do. They're spiritual. They could be a teacher also. They could be a guru. They'll teach them you stuff and you'll teach them things also. But this is definitely long-term commitment and marriage coming towards you, Pisces. <laughs> Interesting. The world. Yeah, because you closed out a cycle, a karmic cycle with somebody. You could have been dealing with a karmic. The world is major arcana. It's the closing of a cycle. Right? You could be traveling the world also with somebody in the future. 
Or you could be talking to somebody on the internet, somebody new. Interesting. Knight of Swords, you want to rush into this person when you meet them or they want to rush into you. This is one of the fastest moving um, knights in the deck, right? This person is not playing any games. This person tells you what they want. They're very clear and, and blunt with their communication. And like if they want you, they're going to tell you, oh, hey, I want you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no mind games played there. And this person is going to give you equal give and take. This is Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn again. So you guys are probably dealing with an earth sign coming up in the future, the majority of you, right? This person is going to give you what you want. This person is the person who is giving to you and not anybody else, right? He's not cheating on you, not lying to you. They're giving you reciprocity. And that's what we want. That's what we want. And the days of being single are coming to an end. Nine of Pentacles is Taurus Virgo Capricorn. This is the card of... I can be on my own, I'm independent, blah, blah, blah. But soon, you don't have to be. You could have been independent for years and not have anybody for years, Pisces. But that's coming to a close. And it's going to make you extremely happy. Yeah, Five of Cups. You won't be sorry anymore. You won't be heartbroken anymore. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is your energy. Right? The days of being sad are going to be over soon. And you're going to get over whoever this person was in the past that hurt you. Pisces, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching all my videos thousands of times. I appreciate that too. I'm sending you love, peace, blessings, kisses. Mwah, fish gang. Please stay safe and be well. And I'll see you next time. Bye, Pisces. Mwah. Ciao.